All right, happy Thursday night. It is July 27th, and we are back with more Strategic Command American Civil War. And there we go. Why is it so dark? Because I never turn my lights on. Hey, that's better. All right, so last time we were playing this was last week, and we're playing a U.S. campaign trying to preserve the Union, um, and it's going pretty well, but devotees who made it all the way through the last episode will know that I got a little ahead of myself with my amphibious invasion of South Carolina and got my Marines into a bit of a bind, so we're going to try and salvage that situation. Also, the CSS Virginia has sailed and is in the process of busting up the blockade around Hampton Roads, so I gotta deal with that. Um, but elsewhere, things are going okay. The, the war is progressing, I feel pretty good about the situation, so uh, let's jump right back into it. So it was, uh, for my title page, I've got the, uh, the War of the Rebellion uh, complete set uh, as my backdrop and I know that you can you know you can get these uh, they've been digitized and they're keyword searchable um, Cornell has a database uh, OSU a couple other places uh, they really are wonderful uh, as a research tool not without their problems right you can't just take them at face value but they're they're really nice sources and I pulled one off the shelf, and it had to deal with uh, operations around Fort Wagner. And was reading a bit about uh, the 54th Massachusetts and things like that. And it was just so fascinating to watch the correspondence go back and forth in terms of how they try to take this position, what the long-term strategic goals were, trying to coordinate between the Navy and the Army, the logistics efforts. And it had this really great exchange between General Gilmore, who was in command of the forces around Morris Island, and Henry Halleck, who was the uh, general-in-chief. And Gilmore had basically asked for more men, as many as eight to 10,000 more, in order to successfully carry out the process. And Halleck wrote back this letter, and he was basically like, I'm embarrassed for you. Um, you told, you know, this operation was... Uh, undertaken with the assurance that it would be concluded you know easily quickly that it wouldn't need outside support he's like what are we supposed to do when we've got draft riots at home right like we need troops in new york we need troops in pa we need troops in michigan um I, you want me to take guys away from Meade? Meade's army just fought a major battle in Pennsylvania. He doesn't have men to spare. Uh, do you want me to take guys from Grant? Grant just subdued Vicksburg and opened up the Mississippi River. But sure, I'll take men from him. Like, it's a really sassy letter back to him. Um, he does make some provisions to send some extra guys to Gilmore from other theaters. But, like, Alec, I think he used the word embarrassed like three times. It was just these those little gems you find when you start leafing through uh, the War of the Rebellion randomly. Anyway, I digress. All right, let's get back to it. I'm trying to remember what was going on here. Yes, the Confederate is putting full combat divisions into the field, and yikes. They have better equipment and they have skirmisher tech. Until I get my own tech up to. Uh, snuff that's gonna really hurt yikes all right let's see here uh, something about the connection my one my one headphone uh likes to just go quiet on me Do, 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 do. All right. Yeesh. I have a infantry division that just got beat to hell. Let's go ahead and buff them back up. Can upgrade my armored trains. They'll be more effective in the future. That's good. Hmm. Ooh, 
Nice. Alright, he'll actually have more supply if he backs up there. Oh, we took it right out. Yes. Reinforce that. Excellent. Now let's get Buford's cavalry. What's the supply situation? Sixes, huh? That's what we needed. It's useful to be able to see what's going on here. Uh, as anticipated, the Confederates have decided to push on West Virginia. They want it back, but they're not going to get it. Still have to protect against those partisan uprisings. What are you going to do? Actually, it's just real quick there. Harrisonburg. Yikes, an entire division. All right. McClellan's not making that move anytime soon. Gotta keep Hampton Roads blockaded. Gotta reinforce this. Yep. I did make it as far as Williamsburg, but I couldn't hold it. Oh, wow! That was awesome! Beat the heck out of that unit. Got anyone else who can make it that far? Every point I knock that division down is going to be money they're going to have to spend to keep it uh, going. Alright, alright. Um, you get back to port. You come on over here. You come on down as well. Alright, things are going well enough there. Go check on the coastal operations. Ugh! Right. He got his butt kicked. Let's get him reinforced. Let's, let's fall back and... We'll secure our beachhead a little better before we try pushing further inland. Maybe I should send them a general. Oh, that fort at Pulaski is beat up. Okay. Uh, oh, right. These guys almost made it to Tallahassee, but I wasn't... For the same reason that I shouldn't have pushed on Charleston, I uh, elected to not push on Tallahassee. So we're going to back them off, because I'm going to use them for the push on New Orleans, now that I've broken up the river. Blockade runner. <laughs> That's beautiful. That timber clad never stood a chance. Alright, the Powhatan. Oof, this gunboat is messed up. Go ahead and get him repaired. What's this? The Mississippi. Frigate is doing okay. Not great, but okay. We're going to mount him on a boat and send him over here. Good, 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 good. Ah, yes. Good. Ships that I requested have arrived. Porter's Marines, huh? Let's 
ahead and bring them up here. We'll get we'll try our best to get both marine divisions to land at the same time. We'll bombard and overwhelm the fort, capture the city before they can bring in any infantry troops. I want New Orleans done before July. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. This whole debacle. Run away. Oh. I am not going to be able to hold that, I think. I might have to fall back to somewhere like Santa Fe. I hate to give up all this territory, but it's just... They've brought way more forces to this theater than I have. Oof. Oh, right, okay. Native and Confederate fighting out here on the frontier. Confederate Rangers, Choctaw, and Chickasaw, and I've got the Cherokee encircled. He's running low on supplies. Yep. Uh, oh, nice. Custer's Cavalry Division. That's actually just what is badly needed out here right now. Ha <laughs> ha! Good. I'm so glad I was smart enough to send those men over there. Hmm. Oh, yes, that's right. I'm also trying to deal with the Confederate incursions into Kentucky. Ah. Oh. D.H. Hill is there. Got him! General Grant is doing okay.
Really? Uh. I gotta get this guy back to a fort. Uh, fort. A port. Port with a P. Oh yeah, I forgot there were those ships there. Oops, not so much for that squadron. Oh. divisions in every direction. I'll go ahead and put the squeeze on Hartford and start working on moving them back behind the lines. This poor guy here is still just hanging out by himself. Hmm. <laughs> Probably can't make it that far. Uh, I broke up the fort and opened up the, uh, the Tennessee River here, but Confederates have rushed some ironclads, and as long as this division is here, I can't get anybody else down the river. Tis a shame. He still has an attack. There we go. That'll actually deal some damage. Okay, those men are all spoken for. I don't actually think there's anyone at London. I'm pretty sure he's at Somerset, but he could be at both, and that's, I just don't know. That's the problem. General Butler. No, these men are all fine. I gotta not be... The Confederates have invested more heavily into their infantry and their infantry tech than I have. I'm trying to do many things at once, so I need to not needlessly give away manpower here. <sighs> Alright, anyone else I'm missing? Alright. Oh, he's right where he should be. We're good, we're good. Need a couple more ships to come down the coast, but I've got them in the building queue. Okay. Yep. We're we're good. Now, let's check research. Got a little bit more I can squeeze out. Think another thing in infantry tactics and I need to get core I need to get core into the field that's gonna be the thing that really pushes my front line is having a infantry core all right doesn't leave a lot left for purchases let's see what we can do could get out a new division big old siege artillery
Actually, I need to replace some of my gunboats. I have lost a lot. <laughs> I've lost like four of them so far. Alright, let's see what we're doing here. Yay! Nice. They continue on towards Fort Pickens. Norfolk gets blockaded. Ooh. Yes! Oh, I can start making core. <gasps> That's awesome. And level 4 logistics. It's a thing of beauty. Now, with any luck, the CSS Virginia should have to withdraw from Hampton Roads. It is beat to heck, and it's been denied access to its port. All right, good, good. He's reinforcing things. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that poor brigade is cut off. <laughs> it's surrounded on all sides. <laughs> it's going to need Grant to come to its rescue. Nicely done. Okay. Now. Gotta get those units cut off. That's the only way I'm gonna win that fight. Ow! Ow! I'm gonna lose that regiment. Abandoned P Ridge. Okay. Oh, <laughs> they have an entire division there. Don't worry, my guys are leaving. I might need to abandon Fort Thorn and march back towards uh, somewhere else. <laughs> Alright, a couple close calls could have been worse. All right, a couple actual combat divisions here. That's good. Um, they are badly needed. And I hate to do it, but I got to prioritize the Eastern Theater right now. The Confederates have too many divisions in Virginia, and I don't really want to get into a slugging match with them over this state. So let's, uh, let's do this smart.
Still has a supply of six. That's going to take a while for that to run down. Fortunately, Fremont's on his way with some actual infantry brigades to join this fight and get this going. Nope. Can't see. That means there's troops. Not going to press. Poor brigade is just getting pounded on. Oh, beautiful Confederate uh, or U.S. ironclads. You're beautiful. Nice! Got him. Ugh, Rangers. hard to see through these trees. Alright, gotta get them back. Oh, jeez. Those guys in Hartford are in for it. Brigade never stood a chance. All right, liberated that. Excellent. going to be harder to push on these three though with those combat divisions there probably i probably should just let kentucky become a stalemate until i can get a commander over here i'll need an officer to make this attack really work especially with dh hill all right all right still though that's a couple of uh Confederate units taken off the board, and that is not a bad thing. It's the current supply situation. You make it all the way to Pea Ridge. Nice. Now we've got a cavalry division out here joining the fray. This is all to the good. All to the good. 
Alright. I'm really confused by what the Virginia is attempting to do here. Yes! Got him! Ha <laughs> ha! I'll trade one for one. Beat the heck out of that out of that ship there. So it's not really one for one, it's kind of one for two, isn't it? The estimates are off slightly. It's fine. This guy's behind nice and trench works here. That adds some nice defense for the uh, for the space. And as long as I can use my navy to keep shelling this guy down, he shouldn't be able to push on Fort Monroe. Now, the New York! It's a bit outdated, but my ship of the line is ready. What am I going to do with this beauty? I think I need to go start bombarding coastal forts. Sailing takes me away. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> trains are a thing of beauty. Yes! George McClellan, with a decisive maneuvering of his brigades, completely routes a Confederate division, and all will be well. Ha <laughs> ha! Two to two, but that that'll knock him down to a six. That's an invitation for a real beating. Three to four and two to four. Okay. Oh, I like it. Even with their better equipment and their skirmishers, the U.S. Army knows how to fight against the Confederacy. All right, we're doing okay here. Virginia is holding for the time being. Whew. Ah, oh, he wasn't set to raid this entire time. Jeez. Alright, the Confederates are about to retake this, but I don't mind. Put me within striking distance of that four. If I can blast that open in one turn, we'll put the scare on the Confederates down here. I gotta create many different theaters all at once. I'm gonna get them.
You need to just wait there for the other amphibious assault. I do not want to screw this up. All right. Ooh, right, he hasn't done any attacks yet. Hey, I didn't take any damage that time. All right, that unit's beat to all get up. Got him. Another Confederate brigade is down. The guy at Harrisonburg is alone. If I can encircle him. I do have to leave somebody by Winchester or I risk partisans. But that's okay. I can leave back somebody. That's what the armored trains can be for. But I've got the bigger numbers. If I encircle Harrisonburg, it's mine. And another link in the chain of the Shenandoah Valley falls. Oh, that would be huge. If I can't push through Fredericksburg, I'll just sweep around into Virginia the other way. Ugh, this situation. Heaven help me. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start pulling back. These are just not worth it. They're able to hit get too many hits, and any reinforcements that I could possibly send from Missouri are actually busy there in that theater at the moment, so Because while I don't really care if they make a little gain, I have to make sure that they can't overwhelm and destroy this force because this is the only thing keeping them out of Santa Fe and a lot of potential points if they can make it up towards Denver and we just we don't want that Ben Butler General Banks he's good Rosecrans is where he needs to be could maybe stand to be a little closer to the front This poor guy who just keeps kind of wandering around. I don't dare pull them out, though, because if there is a Confederate brigade here, they could start making their way towards Frankfurt, and then I've got a bigger problem on my hand. So I think, as much as it pains me, I think he needs to stay put. Ugh. Now I just have to figure out who I liberate from down here, and how, and all that. Well, we're definitely going to get some core going, though. Let's see. Ironclads are good. Had a bunch of new ships produced. Well, a bunch. I had, I had a new blockade runner. Uh, blockade. What is going on with my brain today? I had a new gunboat produced and got ready to go. All 
All right, this is all to the good. All right. And then I think I'm pretty safe here. Let's get some core built. First, second. That's enough of that, apparently. It's coming down the pipeline. It's June 13th. Uh, oh, uh, the first of my two ironclads will hit, be produced soon. George Meade will take the field. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Next year. Uh, but in July, General Pope will be ready. A couple new gunboats and a bunch of new divisions. Okay, we got a lot of stuff about to hit the field. Excellent. Let's just let's get out some more infantry to keep the uh, keep the situation under control here. Um, oh yes, you get back to Corinth quick before you get attacked and overwhelmed. If I can if I can concentrate my gunboats and break this fort, that would do a lot to trap D.H. Hill's command on the wrong side of the Cumberland River. But it's these ironclads I worry about. They're equally as formidable as mine. So I should probably focus on sinking them before I pay attention to the fixed fortifications. Ugh. Pain in the ass. Alright, here we go. Yay! Pro-Union Bandits. The Pueblo have getting closer to joining the war. Field telegraph development. Oh yeah, I didn't do any research. Oh, experimental balloons has uh, popped. Yay! Big jumps in a bunch of my tech. Right, it's good to have uh, it's good to have the lion's share of the pre-war patents, you know. Ugh, iron Confederate ironclads. I'll deal with them soon enough. Yes, keep yes, keep reinforcing your things. Spend that precious money that I know you don't have. Hmm. Ow, are you kidding me? Yep, there goes that fort. Ah, that stinks. Ow! Uh, bushwhackers.
Two, three, eleven, ten, four, three, ten. Ha ha ha. Yes! Let's get the navy going. Hip hip hooray. Alright, uh, I need to not actually take up these ports. I need them to repair my current fleet. Wow, that's a beautiful surface fleet that just got built near Philadelphia. Woohoo! You go there for repair. You go there for repair. Eh, you're not that badly beaten up. You go there and attack. You upgrade your engines. All right, we're gonna have to do a little, a little ship shuffle. There we go. Ooh, lovely. There, they went up there. Good, good, good. another confederate division stacked off the table oh beautiful all right i'll be able to make it there all right now we're getting some proper combat divisions on the front line General Banks is doing all right. I mean, he's he's one of those, like, eh, generals that the U.S. puts out, but he has a couple moments that aren't completely terrible, and right now he's doing pretty good for us. West Virginia has been liberated multiple times over. I don't know what on earth the game is waiting for. Just proclaim it a state already. Anything new up here? Nope, nothing to worry about. All right, before I forget again. Oh, yeah, gosh, I've got a ton of research money that's just not getting utilized right now. Cavalry equipment. Another 200, huh? Logistics is on its way. Decreases cost of rail. Embarking units, build limit, action points, distribution of HQs is equal to logistics level, so good. That's making progress. I like it. Ironclads on its way. Gosh, I'm trying to think of what's, what's the most important priority here. I need more core. Just keep them coming, boys. All right. Let's not expend your strength needlessly. Let's keep bringing you down towards Pulaski. Hmm. 
Ah, not enough to get there. I was hopeful. See anything down this way? No, nothing. It's all up here now. Yes, you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The city's right there. It's undefended. I can't get a guy into it. I didn't know that the... I didn't know that Porter's Marines were gonna one-shot the fort. I would have had these guys come up the river. Damn it all. The city is sitting there, ripe for the taking, and they're gonna railroad a unit in there to defend it. Oh, this is asinine. I'm so frustrated. It's just it's a juicy plum. It's just sitting there. It's defenseless. Take the city. Mm. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're not going to be able to destroy this thing this turn. Oh! Horrifying. There. Got it. Ah. Oh opened up New Orleans. They're going to be able to protect it in time. I'm sure of it. Oh well. It's like I said. Every unit that they have to move takes, uh, you know, takes troops away from a different theater. I actually think I need to uh No, I don't don't wanna, No, I don't want to see the supply. Yep, I got to pull people back or else they're going to ride roughshod right over my territory. How is this still hanging in there? Oh, that's nice. Need more troops in this theater. All right.
Whoa, I just one-shotted it? I had no idea that was so beat up. All right, let's let's bust this open. Ow! One to one, my ass. Pressure on Trenton, best we can. Wait, Robert E. Lee is in Kentucky? They thought that was a good use of his time and talents? They'll have to either allocate forces to holding Fort Donaldson, or they're just going to have to surrender it, which will give my boats full access to the Cumberland, and then that puts me on the doorsteps of Nashville. <laughs> you, you hang tough, little brigade. General Grant's pushing south as fast as he can. He's a bold one. Ugh. The good news is this town is almost out of supply. I think next turn ought to do it. And then I gotta I gotta rebalance. What I thought would be a simple matter to take out the Cherokee is now turning into a pain in the backside. Oh, that's nice. Wow, so the estimates for this theater are way off. push Fremont to push more supplies over here. They're stretching the limits of it as it is. And poor Henry Halleck is wasted holding this part of Missouri. I need to give him a command again and get him moving. in order here. Get Harrisonburg wore down as best we can.
Poor Pulaski. Would really like if that one could... So the 12th core is had a unit that was raised near my uh, where I live. So let's go ahead and purchase the 12th core. A second balloon and it's discounted. Done. I love getting me some discounted intel. All right. Ah, yes, the draft. It does put a number of units into the field quick, though. I was going to say, historically, the draft almost didn't seem to be worth it. The, the amount of manpower the army got was a pittance compared to the massive race riots that it inspired. <laughs> um... Oh, why not? I can if I can withstand the um, the economy hit. Like, yes, there's going to be riots, but they'll be subdued. The economy will recover. I make enough money as the U.S. I'm not concerned about a couple cities being thrown into turmoil. Ouch. Nice. Yes! Now my troops will be on the same footing as the Confederates. Oh, and my leaders are better. <laughs> this is like the turn of Jubilee. I'm getting everything. <laughs> oh my god, it just doesn't end. I gotta clip that. <laughs> that was incredible. I think I just got about every tech under the sun right there. Oh, man. All right, so next turn is going to be a boring one. I'm going to try to do as few pushes as possible so that I can upgrade all the equipment that my troops badly need. <laughs> Holy cow, that's a Confederate ironclad. That's going to beat the heck out of my blockading troops. Railroad it in a cavalry division, huh? Okay. Ow. Oh, jeez. Yep, they're going to liberate that. Which means they're going to get the creek back into the war. Ugh.
Oh yeah, sure, why not have the Apache strike right now? Was New York City the only place that rioted? Did I just get like four new divisions for almost nothing? Alright, nice. Couple new gunboats to replace my losses. Oh, and a bunch of new divisions are going to be formed. Great. Great. That's excellent news. And here comes General Pope to take command of this theater. Ooh, the St. Lawrence is being built. All right, all right. The biggest question, what's the situation in New Orleans? That's all anyone cares about. It's still empty! No way! Oh my gosh. All right, yeah, push that unit forward. All right, so it took a little longer for me than it did historically, but New Orleans and Southern Louisiana are in hand. I don't see a single Confederate unit anywhere in the vicinity. That, though, is a huge problem. Um, yikes. I'm going to have to think about how I handle that. I might have to send some of those ironclad warships down here to sink that thing, because it's going to make a mess of my blockading fleet. You know what? I think for the moment, we withdraw... These ships, you get into a safe harbor, you go get into a safe harbor. I'm not about to do a slug, slug match here with a Confederate ironclad. All right. We're going to upgrade our ships, don't you worry. Really? Their artillery was that good that they could shoot back at me from there? Fine.
I'm going to upgrade those units. I got to get them into higher supply. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Why does this unit refuse to die? Oh, there. Finally. That was way too much work for a single regiment. Gotta get this guy into some better situation here. Yeah, they're gonna retake that and bring the creek back into the war. Ugh. Alright, let's see, let's see. Ow! Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Just collapse already. Hope is here, these new guys are here, everyone's having fun. Wow, got him. Harrisonburg has been subdued.
Getting some upgraded infantry equipment going here. Attack values. It's good versus forts. It's good versus ironclads, though. All right, I think I got to send it. I think the two new ironclads have got to go to the Gulf because they're going to have to deal with that Confederate monitor, which, woof. love to upgrade them but as long as that division is there these guys are stuck they won't open those crates of new rifles as long as the enemy's looking at them <laughs> they get self-conscious Ooh, a two and a three and a two and a three i get nervous though he's he can get attacked from three sides i don't love using guys like him for that purpose these guys though you guys can put on all that new gear and upgrade your equipment let's go Bunch of the guys in Kentucky got new stuff. Right, you guys can get your equipment out. I'm going to pop you on a train. you down here. Nah, too low of a supply. I was afraid of that. All right, I'll just have to cycle these guys out to upgrade their equipment. command is finally going to be able to get some work done here. I know I'm missing another unit somewhere. Somebody else I haven't yet clicked on. There we go. Jeez. see it was Detroit New York all right what about naval he's there he's there we're all to the good here he's good yep they're gonna sail back off a little bit is all pretty standard. Uh, 
Okay. Wow, I had a lot of research come due all at once. Not even going to get to build a new unit. Uh, cavalry tactics out there. I really need to put points back in leadership. There just wasn't enough money this turn. Shipping out new equipment for everybody and updating their training manuals cost me a pretty penny. But it's going to be worth it once these guys get these extra, get this increased attack, the benefit to the morale from the skirmishers, we can start pushing harder on a couple fronts. This whole situation is a cluster jam. I don't even know what's going on over here anymore. We're just going to do the best we can. Yeah, you lost New Orleans. Good, the California column is continuing on its way. Yes, it's here! Ha ha! Upgraded forces have arrived on the Confederate's flank. Yeah, everyone fall back to Key West for the moment. <laughs> <laughs> the Militia Act of 1862 permits African Americans to begin serving in the Union Army, because prior to that it specifically specified white men. Alright, excellent. Okay, now we got a, a better situation. We can catch the Confederates in a little pincher action here. I can bait them to coming farther up. I could swing in behind them and deprived of supply. There'll just be a lot of dead Confederates in that uh, valley. Ugh, they liberated it. Like a Confederate submarine might be near Wilmington. Ow, yep. I've been trying to get those native units back, but they're out of supply, yet they won't move in a direction that will get them into supply. Ow! Jeez! Yeah, I saw that coming. Oh, jeez. Hadn't gotten an update from Mexico recently. Oh, Martin Van Ruin. Hmm. Didn't actually know that. To be fair, I don't know a lot about Australia, though. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> ah. 
What's that infantry division doing all the way out there cut off? We're going to blast these guys out of their trenches. We need a proper artillery train. Hmm. All right. You're going to go down to the Gulf and reinforce New Orleans. Not about to lose all the gains I've made in that theater. Pulaski. The settlement itself is out of supply, which means the fort is almost out of supply. A couple more good shellings ought to do it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what is it? Oh, wait, it's the port that's upgraded. How's I quit? What is this upgrade that they have? The Confederates just let me walk into Baton Rouge like that? Seriously? So they'll do some partisan activity, but it won't raise units unless I get as far as Martinsville. So if I take everything on both sides of the river here, that's good money in my pocket. It's money the Confederates are losing. Okay. I have a feeling like Port Hudson, it's got to have a garrison, right? They'd be insane to not put troops there. Alright, um, why don't you blockade, but from farther out to sea, stay away from that ironclad. You men get to the safety of the harbors here. Oh, Confederate fighting spirits finally below 100%. <laughs> Mine's still at a tasty 89%. Stupid anti-war Democrats. The Copperheads all. Yes, they backed off, which means infantry equipment and skirmishers. Beautiful. Better able to demoralize and better able to trade punches with these Confederate units. I want to cycle out a couple of these so I can upgrade them. Reinforce him. Get this guy down to where the action is. What on earth is happening? Stop that. Fix him. Get him all patched up. He's right where he's supposed to be.
you escort them on their way. Three and two, three and four, three and three. Man, just imagine if I could get them their proper gear. Oh, that'll be even better. And when is West Virginia going to get acknowledged by the rest of the country? All right, let's get General Pope going. Yeah, Pope it up. Hmm. Would love to isolate Bowling Green. Three to one. Ouch. All right, so no cavalry attack against them. All right, so technically Bowling Green is cut off. They're going to have to rely on their own sources for now. Iron timber clads, you come down this way. You, badly beaten up, go there. You, uh, he's in worse shape, you go there. And actually, why don't you just sail all the way up here and get yourself patched up? You're in rough shape. This good equipment into the hands of men who can use it. Upgrade them next turn. We'll be in we'll be in decent shape here. I don't know how far I should take this cavalry brigade by himself, but, uh... is to get one of these guys down here so that I can free him up to go relieve some of these guys. <sighs> Alright, I gotta get these guys back into supply. to leave reinforcements at least one guy near Fayetteville for the fact that the uh, Confederates will spring up partisans if I don't okay those are fours so that's fine I mean it's not as good as a five but it's better than a zero and taking Fort Gibson really opened up options for them that stinks Ugh. That's why Megan Kate Nelson calls it the Three Corner War. There's a lot going on out west with the natives. Ooh. Alright, the important city, though, is open. Excellent. Nope, their supply is still too low.
<clears throat> All right. Yeah, we're just having to yield a bunch of territory here. But if it lets me upgrade my guys and pinch the Confederates off here, we'll make this work. We'll figure it out. Which reminds me, how's the Pueblo doing? And research. Ace, it's costly getting my research back up to thing. Wasn't expecting to have all of those attacks hit at the same time. He was making a run to Carrollton, but I think we stopped it. They'll be ready for next turn. More guys getting upgraded, updated. We got a nice train. We're going to come in and use it to start shelling these entrenched units. Drive them out of their homes. Those men are fine. Those guys are fine. Let's bring the train back. Oh yeah, let's bring the trains back. We can start... We can start bringing the trains down the railroad line here towards Brandy Station and shelling these positions. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting that. Yes! Yeah, glad I double-checked that I could do that. Ha! I just took one whole piece off of the board in this theater. Okay, I could replace my native losses, but I can't at the moment. And I can't make a move on that without more supply in this theater. It's just not going to happen. And because they're rangers, they're never technically out of supply. That's going to make taking that hard. Let's just try isolating Trenton a little bit. Could run the guns. I'll take a little damage, but it would put me on either side of the fort. I need to I need to stop being eager. I need to slow my roll. I'm the US. I have nothing but time. Let's get my river fleet repaired. Then we'll start getting, you know, fancy maneuvers going here. There's anything else to be done there. Hmm. 
<laughs> Actually, you know what? Yes. Excellent. Another headquarters unit is never a bad thing. If it's only going to cost me 100 uh, MPP, totally worth it. <laughs> Alright, the Pueblo gained another 9% towards coming into the war. I like it. I could really use them. They're really stacking up divisions here in Kentucky. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Oh shoot, I think they're making a push. Uh, yep, that hurts. That really hurts. They're cycling through their brigades to try and get as many shots at once off. I think I just got to pull everyone back to like Joplin and Fort Baxter and make them overextend themselves again like last time. Once they're up here, there's not enough supply for them and then I can punch. I gotta evacuate that unit and replace it with a stronger one. Ha <laughs> ha! Good. The New Hampshire. Let's get more of these ships of the line lined up. Woohoo! Beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so close to dead. Is there, uh, is there a way to make this work? Another entire division wiped off the board. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
I mean, there has to be a garrison in Charlottesville, right? They'd be insane not to have one. Ugh, three. Yeah, that supply situation isn't exactly inspiring. He needs to stay there because of the partisans. No. Alright, you come on down. You're gonna join the rest of the units that are <laughs> bombing the crap out of Confederate coastal defenses. Oh, need more gunboats. Supply sitch down here. All right, I've got more gunboats on the way. Pulaski's in a rough shape, though. Let's see. All right. Ooh, they are just out of supply. I think more will get pushed forward as... Yeah, alright, as the... As New Orleans gets pacified and everything comes under control, it will get better, but... Just wait your turn. Mm, poor Pulaski. It's, it's, the fort is basically out of supplies. One more good shelling ought to take it out completely. I don't... I don't know where that ironclad went, so I'm not super keen to leave the harbor. Won't lie. You just you keep your blockading up.
Okay. Huh. Rather upgrade. Yeah, gosh, the whole supply situation out here is a joke. All right, let's just let's just pull everyone back. Hmm. We'll make them overextend themselves. And then we'll counterattack when they're eating stone soup and they're running out of food. Frustrating, though. I was that close to having another one of the natives out of the war. And then I can't believe they brought an entire division to this theater. get the train going next time. <laughs> Alright, I need another cavalry division out here. Which reminds me. Let's replace the natives I lost. And I haven't built another core in a while. the fifth core built with all of its gear right off the bat. Somewhere around here is a Confederate division, but I don't, I'm assuming they were falling back because they were low on supply, but I can't know that for sure. <laughs> mm. Three to two. Ah. All right. Anything good worth researching? Yeah, let's get mortars going. much for a zero to one. Oh, right, I'm out of money. <laughs> it's like, why can't I upgrade my unit? That would be why. You, start coming this way. Our men need leadership. <laughs> uh. Ugh, the Missouri campaign is just a wreck. I go for it, I'm going to run into Confederates. I'm sure of it. 
it's a huge supply port it's it's the thing that keeps Vicksburg supplied like there's no way it's undefended There's going to be someone in Somerset. All right, you know what? Next turn, when I have Hamilton's men all fully up and operational, I'll go. I'm, I'm, I'm mincing around here. I got to get serious. Yeah, I assumed they hadn't abandoned Williamsburg. Oh, well, they're busy building big trench works outside of Richmond. Once Fort Pulaski is down, I'm pretty sure my ships of the line should have no trouble reducing Fort Walker. Maybe I give up Georgetown, bring them down, and make a push on Savannah. Now, I, there'd be troops there just like there were at Charleston. I think I hold on to this for now and just wait till I can get a commander down there and begin the process of actually pushing out of the of the of the city more men the cavalry division wouldn't hurt all right Spying and intelligence is up to 100%. Nice. There he is. I knew he was lurking in the neighborhood. I'm going to isolate that guy. I want him cut off. Ow! Are you kidding me with this? How are they able to operate so far from their base? Good heavens. Oh gosh, that unit is in so much trouble. He just he did not know it, but he's dead. There's nothing but generals over here. Ow! Are you kidding me? That didn't get a single retaliation on him? Great. Great. Just what I was hoping to deal with. Ah, oh, audacious confederates. Bushwhackers now. 
It's always something. Hmm. Four, four, fourteen, four, four, fourteen, four, fourteen, fourteen, four. Wow. All right. Uh, yes, West Virginia. They are good, loyal people. Eh, that will happen. But that also frees up a bunch of units that are don't need to garrison the state anymore. Oh, the USS Ohio is ready to sail. And the Huron. Alright. Bye. And another division from the Eastern Theater bites it. Maybe I need to start making pushes in this theater. If they're going to keep reinforcing everything except this, like... I mean, I've got them basically to Fredericksburg. He's lost a lot of manpower in this quarter. I could push on Staunton. You. You are no longer sleepy. And you are no longer sleepy because... These are now pro-union partisan spots. They do not have to be garrisoned. So let's get you guys to the uh, railroad lines. And get you... We'll railroad you out of the state next turn. You two are still going to stay because yeah I thought there might be troops there oh shoot that probably means that that's confederates I should have left him at stun Isolating Staunton. We'll get them surrounded.
that did not need to be that did not need to be a full supply move. That was uh, that was a waste on my part. Beautiful. Got rid of that. All right. Coastal operations are proceeding slowly. I think I'm gonna keep pushing. This this front line has bent a lot under the pressure of my attacks. Rosecrans and Banks are doing all right in Northern Virginia here. I know there's someone, but I'm going anyway. Yes! Division versus a brigade? I'll fight that fight any day. Haha! <laughs> Drove him out! And there was nobody in London, but that's okay. We've uh, we've secured this part of Kentucky. That's going to force them to redeploy troops to guard the Cumberland Gap. That'll bust up some of their uh, entrenchments. Wow! Okay. I mean, do I follow up and just keep throwing myself at him? Okay, you go there. Gotta cut him off. I'll gladly take a chance and sever this road. Whatever units are here are going to be eating rocks and dirt before long. Got him! <laughs> yeah, and then pull back a little bit. <laughs> Alright, let's get General Pope out here where he can do the most good. Where is he needed? Let's get him as close to this new fight as possible. Alright, the, the liberation of Kentucky, with exception of whatever's happening over here, is going okay. Is going okay. Uh. Oof, you need to, like, make a run for it. You come on back down. You get as far as you can. Run, run, run. Yep, Ewell's division. They're going to be... They're going to be in trouble. 
Nice. Good. Resume cutting the road in every direction I can. Excellent. Come on, abandon Trenton. Ah, oh, just wouldn't quit it. Darn. Wow, so much for one to one. Fine. He's surrounded. He's badly hurt. This is a good thing. All right. Another... Another city down here secured. Finally got a chance to upgrade these folk. Jeez. There we go. Slow and steady, but it's getting there. Is the supply situation out there is a four. Ugh. Halleck, I'm going to bring you back to try and deal with this. I'm going to have to bring some other troops in from another area. I don't really have any immediate reserves to draw on, but this is going to be a temporary setback at best. I'm going to make sure they lose that division. Hmm. Actually, Chamberlain was supposed to go off and do other things. I think his ta talents would be better served here. Yeah, he, he had other things he was supposed to do, but I think this is a better use of his time. <laughs> Put a stop to this nonsense. Ow! Gee, some of these combat estimates are not quite as uh, accurate as I would like. Now, oh, at least that one was one to one. Good. Reinforce that. Or risk opening up Memphis to a naval invasion. Speaking of invasions, this one continues apace. The fact that I can't just bypass the harbor is, hmm, interesting. How far can he get? How far can he get? 
Oh, jeez, he can make it, like, all the way. Excellent. Nice. Oh, I'm so glad I sent those ironclads down there. And now, back to guarding that. All of that is in good order. Putting pressure here on the Rangers at Staunton. I mean, if I have to get to Richmond by coming by way of Lynchburg, I will. It wasn't my preferred avenue of attack, but it'll work. Although, I, if I want to keep the supplies moving, I really need to open up the Culpeper to Charlottesville route. This overland march is a real pinch on the old supply lines. Hmm. Let's see. Chamberlain is effectively going to deal with, the, with Ewell's division. The poor guy here in Princeton has gotten his... Uh, took us whooped, to put it politely. I was planning on abandoning Carthage, but I don't think I have to. Uh, this one cavalry division is more or less holding off Heath's infantry, which... Okay, I'll take it. And if I don't need these guys, I would prefer to bring them back down to Gainesville. I don't want any Confederates near Memphis to come up and start opening up yet another front for me to have to deal with. Speaking of, get going. to spread themselves out to keep me from completely severing the supply line from El Paso. But that means these guys are going to be in a cut-off city that's going to run out of supplies. And once I liberate it, I can start putting pressure on this junction right here. Carlton, I could kiss you. Ugh, Ben Butler. McPherson, huh? I don't want to sound like a McClellan here, but I think I just need more men in the Eastern Theater.
going to pull one of these two out. He can hold Georgetown by his own. If the Confederates get too close, I can just bombard them from the coast. I want to... I want to probe a little. See what I can open up down here. I'm going to send some ships around and see what's available for an amphibious landing. Taking somewhere like Jacksonville would be a delicious little coup. Force them to have to think about a different state that, so far, has been kept out of the war. Core organization is on its way. Field telegraph. Attachment range and unit limit of HQs. That'll help. Each level of intelligence increases your own research bonus by 1%. Oh, that's a no-brainer then. Let's keep that going. All right. Now, purchases. Ooh, a new cavalry division. Yes. Yet another monitor, a frigate, a gunboat. Maybe another gunboat. No, actually, I don't think I want to. I'm, I'm going to save my money. I'm gonna, I think I'm okay with the current situation, so... Ugh, when don't they? Ow, that was a bad one. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, yes, that's great. Everything is a little cheaper to produce or reinforce. Keeps the campaigns moving. Got to stretch every dollar. The U.S. had a fantastic way of funding this war, um, which was helpful because they already had had an established economy. But they sold bonds, they raised t uh, money through taxes, and they... Ow! Um, they did print money, but it didn't really destabilize their economy that much. I mean, for a war... They had about 60%, 65% inflation over four years. Um, the Confederacy's, Confederacy's main way of funding its war was to just print money. They're just rolling it off of a thing. And uh, that has some really bad effects for them. Things that I often notice aren't really reflected in games that are trying to give the Confederacy a fighting chance. But, like, they're straight broke. Oh my gosh, that's an infantry corps! That's not even a division, that's a core. Okay. Uh, I might need to back off a of Staunton. If those brigades are not going to outfight a core, that's just... Holy cow. Ooh, alright. That is, uh... Ow! Jeez. How is this guy not starving to death? Oh, for the love of God. Yeah, some of it was through foreign trade and imports, but they really missed a chance to build up foreign credit when they did a self-embargo of their own cotton. Oh my gosh, that unit just got wrecked! Alright, yep. Yeah. So Confederates have core in the field. Fortunately, I should in a couple more turns as well. Ugh! Those core pack a ridiculous punch. Hmm. I 
Ah, shoot. The Navajo go to war. They're going to completely tear up that territory. I got to move some troops around. Brigade suffers attrition losses. That's what I like to see. Ooh, a new unit of Marines. Nice. A new unit of balloons. Good for intel gathering and recon. And Reynolds. Uh, I want him to start spearheading operations somewhere like New Orleans or somewhere else like that. So I want him to push. Does he have to be built in Philadelphia? Oh, yes, it says so. Ha! Ah! <laughs> okay, then. And if I had put him there, he'd be next to a port. God help me. All right. <laughs> All right. One of these bombardments has got to succeed in reducing the fort. I refuse to believe that it won't. Got it. Woof. Oh. Can't see into the interior, though. Can't tell what's going on there. Excellent. Fort Pulaski's gone. He's reinforced. my armored train next time. <laughs> one to one, my ass.
Come on, get him. So close. Uh, I'll just sever the, the railroad connection to Lynchburg then. Um, that works for me. You guys can be completely cut off. McClellan, you audacious bastard. Please make him abandon the city. Please make him abandon the city. Uh, you know what? That feels better. Culpepper. Them losing that is a huge blow. He's done his thing. That's there. Wilmington is well and truly blockaded. Fort Pulaski's gone, which means Savannah is in trouble. I can't see into the city. There's just too much. I can't tell if there's any troops there at all. I say that ironclad went this way. Oh, it is in so much trouble. Well, hello. <laughs> that was a huge loss for them. Hmm, what to do with these ironclad ships now that I'm down here? There's no forts over here worth sieging. I might have to send these back to the Atlantic side of the war. They did their job. Unoccupied. Okay. Jeez, this is this is going nice down here. All right. Confederate fighting spirit is slipping. We're just about evenly motivated these days. Oh my gosh. None of this is defended. I might be able to cut a supply line to the guys at Corinth. That has to come all the way through Arkansas. <laughs> oh, wee. Zero to one and I get singed? Are you kidding me? Oh. Pain in the ass. Nice. Good. <laughs> He's not long for this world. It was an audacious, bold plan to attack across the Ohio River, but really it was just a death sentence. I need more cavalry is what I need. If this is what's uh, going to win me this fight, then... Yeah, 
head back to head back to Baxter. You go with him. Honestly, let that go. It's not worth it. Getting yourself killed over it. There we go. Now things are starting to take shape. Woohoo! Trenton's gone. Good old Ulysses Sam Grant to the rescue again! <laughs> Ooh, right, forgot about that little boat limping along. <laughs> Nice! Jeez. Alright, got them out of there. Alright, you, you know what? You have done your duty. You can relinquish Carthage. It's finally time. Double for you. Go ahead and fall back. You have earned it. Supply is so low here because it just hasn't had a chance to catch up, I think, from... Oh, yeah, because that, that town has been reduced to a supply of two. It needs time to heal. Yep, that makes sense. That's fine. Next turn, we're going to shell the fortifications here. So from a five to a four. Yeah, let's protect the train. Bowling Green will be fine. Ugh, that Confederate core, though, is ugly. I don't like it. I had him down to a one. Like, ugh. It's distressing. And I can't, I can't bring this guy forward because he's needed there. Three to two, three to zero. Beauregard's off here by himself. Don't even know what he's up to. John Reynolds is there. He's here. Just out of curiosity. Confederates have 84 to my... Uh, oh no, I have more land forces than them. Nice. 
uh, tied with forts. They have two naval units to my 43. 29 Confederate ground forces to my four. They've lost 14 forts and 14 ships to my four. That's way more specific information than I should be able to access. Like, that's really specific, de detailed info. <laughs> hmm. All right, all right. Ow! Really? Are you kidding me right now with this? Where's that? Where's that guy? You. Get marching south. <laughs> I cannot have the, um, yeah, I cannot have the Navajo come into the war. They'll sweep right through here and cut me off. So it looks like we're falling back again. All right, get marching. You two guys, you're good, hardworking regiments. You're just going to have to cover the retreat. We're going to have to pull all the way back to Albuquerque, I think. Maybe Valencia. This looks like a supply bottleneck right through here. If I can hold in two different directions until the Pueblo join, it could be okay. Fortunately, the Navajo are going to join way before the Pueblo. Need some research. some more ground troops into the war. Excellent. Yeah, I might be able to reach these guys via an overland route from Arkansas. What a wild journey these poor guys have been on. And if I can attack this fort from overland... That'll open up the Mississippi as far as Memphis. Once Chamberlain's done with him, we could do a naval invasion on Memphis. It's, 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 I'm giddy with the possibilities. This is all to the good. This is... this is working. This is working. Okay. And there's still a few, there's like another month and a half of good campaign weather left before I have to start slowing down for winter. Ah, uh, yep. Blockade runners are diverting again. Yeah, liberate Carthage. Or occupy Carthage, I guess. It's fine. This is the war. How are they still squeezing just enough supply to keep them going? That's that's the kind of question I want answered. Oh! Enemy sub! Get that out of here.
All right, I think he just evacuated those guys. <laughs> He's trying to restabilize his position. Can't blame him. Confederate bandits, get out of here. Three, four, fourteen, four, ten, twelve, five. Brigade suffers attrition loss. Another 12, 3, 14, 12. That is so much cash the Confederates are losing. And it's not like they had a lot to begin with. All right. Um, shoot, I'm at a crossroads. I actually think I want this division for Kentucky. This whole theater is getting hot at the moment. What I would rather have is my core. I want my core in the Eastern Theater. Got him. Hmm. The question is which unit? That's now completely cut off these guys. Oh, come on. How are they still holding on? Got him. That Confederate Brownwater Navy is uh, looking really nice at the bottom of the uh, water there. Got it! Excellent. Alright, this is... I gotta watch out for them trying to swing around behind me and get Dresden. AP Hill, huh? I get it. I successfully linked this guy up. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm going to begin the process of extracting him. He's he's done enough. AP Hills leadership there. Memphis is garrison, but it's just a brigade. Meanwhile, Jackson has a whole division. I gotta watch out from him trying to make a run at Dresden. 
which and I can't believe I didn't finish him off. Ah, you know what? The day's not over yet. There he goes. Finally. <clears throat> Finally. That embarrassing little adventure is now over. He can finally get the upgrade he deserves. Nice. He's there. That's that division. Alright, everyone here has got good supply. Good. Rangers operate at a minimum of three supplies, so I feel safe moving him around as much as I am. Six, eights, and sevens, huh? As long as I keep someone near Fayetteville, I'm okay. Nines and eights. The good news is supply does not push over these forested hills well at all, as I found out the hard way. So if I can get these guys to overcommit, I'm looking at a decent chance at holding the line there. Keep pulling it back, keep pulling it back. I'm willing to abandon a lot here if it means... Ooh, these poor guys are badly out of supply. Oh, I didn't even see that. You're right. I should stretch. I have not done that in a little bit. Thank you for the reminder. Oh. Good evening, Rabid Puma. How are you? Oh. oh, you just popped it. Thank you, then. I appreciate it. All right. His Marines, I think, need to go for a nice long swim. The question is whether I send them down the coast or send them to the Gulf and build up that army. You're doing all right? I'm really glad to hear that. Yep. Yeah. I knew I should have put Reynolds next to a port. I'm an idiot. It's fine. So I lost a turn. It's not the end of the world. Ooh, he's beat up. You know what? He can back off. You can zoom right in and take his place. He just abandoned Fredericksburg. He just abandoned Fredericksburg. And I'm across the river. Oh, right. This is great. Ah. <sighs> Actually, how have you been? I, um, I've been woefully remiss. We're getting ready for the end of summer. We have a new baby on the way. I've been doing a million things except getting on Twitch, so I haven't caught any of your streams lately. I apologize. How's it going? You play anything good lately? Oh, thank you. Appreciate that.
Reinforce him. Cannot dislodge these rangers from Staunton. They just won't go away. Ugh. Alright, I got my armored train set up. I can't... There's a gap between Alexandria and Fredericksburg, because of course there is. Uh, I've been doing space engineers, some 3D modeling for new weapons in the game. Made a cluster bomb. Wow, okay. That is intense work. So, um, I watched you play it a couple times, but I still don't fully, I don't know, I fully admit, I don't know enough about Space Engineers. Give me the, like, the 30 second sales pitch, if you don't mind. Um, is it, is it like a crafting survival? Is it just, um, design? Uh, what, what, what is it? It's a physics sandbox, sandbox where you can pretty much do whatever you want. Oh, okay. Those are a lot of fun. Um, I actually was. I was just talking to my wife recently about the success of uh, the latest Zelda. And because on a certain level, yeah, there's the story and that's great. But you have a giant map and you have the ability to build physics-based engines. And people have gone gangbusters, right? Like they're creating all this really cool stuff. Um just give people a sandbox and they'll make up their own games, right? Why not? We usually play with a few NPC and weapon mods and then you make little goals for yourself. That's the best way to play, right? Like, I love that. That's amazing. Yeah, I, I won't lie. Those have been some of my favorite YouTube videos lately are the things that people think to design in Tears of the Kingdom. Like, the, the one guy who made a... A rocket that had multi-stage like booster separation using the batteries and the rocket pieces like it came apart as it launched it was beautiful but I would have never thought to put that together <laughs> always always impressed with gamers creativity yeah we got to sink this confederate sub this is this is no bueno get this out of here Ha <laughs> ha, it's gone. And now on with the blockade. Still can't see into Savannah Harbor, so I have no idea what's going on down there. Let's send my ships of the line farther south, and we'll do a little little patrol and exploration. We're looking for... Ooh, that's not uh, guarded, but there's no port. So if I send my marines there, it's a potentially a, a death sentence. They could starve. Can't see far enough inland to know if Jacksonville has a garrison. I can't imagine it doesn't. Ah... Uh. All right. Ooh, St. Augustine. All right. I think that'll be the next uh, fortress I bombard down. You stay there to deter Confederate uh, commissioners from going to Europe to get reinforcements. We always played... What was it? Um... We got really big into Seven Days to Die for a while just for the same reason we kind of just liked setting our own goals um building the best zombie proof fortresses that we could and then seeing how they hold up um and i'm a sucker for just exploring like it's what that's why i love to travel i love going somewhere i've never been and i really like procedurally generated games for that reason because i can just wander around and, and see new stuff right check out cool areas I've never been and um, you know virtually it works for me too all right uh, so I took Fredericksburg I still quite can't get into Staunton but the Confederates in the east are buckling I don't know if they've overcommitted somewhere else or what their problem is but they are struggling here 
<laughs> All right, back to Kentucky. I dealt with that. Took that fortress off the map. I'm opening up and threatening Little Rock, which means they might have to pull back if they want to keep it. And I had to yield some ground here, but there's just there's nothing to eat out here. The supply lines are non-existent. There's one road that traces its way through Fort Smith. Without that, the Confederates are kind of at a standstill. All right, all right. Hmm. Research, I'm at max research, maxed on diplomacy chits. All right, let's get some more troops out here. Hmm. Another siege artillery, and I think a couple more divisions. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, these ironclads are phenomenal for bombarding coastal settlements. And that's just money out of the Confederates' pocket. Finally get this division, the equipment it deserves. Oh, I don't know if there's going to be Confederates in this city. Let's find out. It's unguarded. Okay. Okay. I would really love to be able to take all of this and add it to my, uh, my territory. It's just good money sitting there, but... That partisan, I don't know. I would have to station and wasting an entire Marine division on garrison duties just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Ugh. Trying to be smarter than how the Union starts the Civil War, considering I already have Fredericksburg. I'm trying, right? Like, one of the, who is the historian who says that the U.S. basically fights the war with one hand behind their back? I'm trying to, you know, in hindsight, tap into all the things that the U.S. had. The superior manpower, the superior resources, and I'm just, I'm putting pressure on as many points as I can. Um, but I'm also trying to not be over-eager. It's it's my biggest problem when I play this is I find I just start once I start to get a little success I want to go 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 and I overextend myself and then when they hit back they hit back hard so we're we're taking baby steps here um, for September of sixty two I'm satisfied that I have Fredericksburg and basically the entire Shenandoah Valley that's just a lot of resources the Confederates don't have access to right now ah uh, just like real life yep <laughs> bingo. <laughs> ah, all right, all right. Um, Fredericksburg. I gotta leave at least one train. Let's bring the other one forward and see what happens. What's the supply situation look like? It's so good. Banks and Rosecrans are doing a great job pushing supplies to where they need to go. Reynolds is gonna get on a boat and go to New Orleans. West Virginia is well situated. But I know there's at least one Confederate unit here slowly starving. And Kentucky has turned into a real battleground, but I'm I'm holding it. I'm I'm content. Alright, I think this is good. Yeah, Confederate Spirit Falls due to the loss of Fredericksburg. And I celebrate. Hooray! Really, we ended up winning because we just had the bodies. Grant threw men into the meat grinder. Yeah, Grant is a weird one. He has really amazing moments where 
he ha knows what he has and he uses it well, right? Like his logistical flanking move around Vicksburg is a work of art. And then there's other moments like the wilderness and Cold Harbor. Like some of those battles are just rough. But he's also not wrong, right? And you're not wrong when you say there was no reason to tiptoe, right? The Confederates simply did not have the manpower for this war. So why the kid gloves, right? Fight big battles and know that they can't get those losses back. It's not pretty, but it works. <laughs> I mean, I think it's like what? It's like something like a four to one advantage military aged males uh, compared to the Confederacy. In terms of material advantage, it's not even close. It's even better. So, and I try to not be that person. I try to not just grind down the Confederates if I can help it. I like pushing on specific points, not just needlessly throwing away brigades. But, you know, sometimes, you know, you just, you gotta, you gotta fight a battle or two. All right, well, the collapse of Culpeper, that opens up a whole new, I mean, that that puts Charlottesville in danger. This is great. I'm trying to finesse it a little bit more. Oh, gosh, that's that Confederate Corps again. It's back. <laughs> it's so big. I really need my Corps to finish training and get on the field because, ooh, that thing is horrifying. Oh, they they abandoned the city in the mob. Oh, no, they just I was like they abandoned the city. No, they didn't. <laughs> and the other thing I love, and it's why I've become obsessed with this game, is I don't think enough attention gets paid to the brown water navy, right? The use of gunboats, the use of ironclads, river clad, uh, timber clad ships. I mean, river clad, God help me. Uh, timber and ironclad river gunboats because it's not sexy and exciting, right? Like that's, that's winning a war through logistics and territory. Um, everyone wants to talk about like Gettysburg and okay, cool, but um, we win the Battle of Shiloh because Don Carlos Buell is literally able to put his army on boats and float them down the river to Grant's defense, right? Like, that's the key piece. Um, and I like that this game lets me do so much with the Navy um, because without it, that's a huge, it's a missing part, right? It is kind of a funny term. I'm not gonna, you're not wrong about that, yeah. <laughs> Oh, they retook Fredericksburg. That's fine. It's one cavalry division. This is a temporary setback at best. Yeah, it was it was maybe like a year ago in the the journal not the journal of the Civil War era, Civil War History, which is the journal out of Kent State. Uh there was a really good article all about the US's use of river going vessels and how it evolved over time and how we basically turned all these waterways that cut through Tennessee and Mississippi against the Confederacy and the the historiography of how little we actually talk about that uh, it was really really engaging it was a nice read oh Savannah you are so much trouble logistical superiority beats all Oh, so many updates. Okay, gosh. Da, 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 da. 4, 12, 12, 4, 12, 5, 10, 4, 4. That's just so much lost money. So much blockade running that's not getting done. Oh. Yep, Van Dorn. I assumed he was the general who was out here. Ooh, the USS Vermont is ready to sail. Oh, the first and second corps are complete. Yes! Let's get them ready for the big push on Richmond and the Puritan. All right. Motion going ironclad. It can, it can escort the Vermont out of Chesapeake Bay. I am actually having this is Bushmills uh, Prohibition Blend. I felt it was only appropriate if I'm playing a Civil War uh, game that I have a little whiskey with my uh, 
with my usual evening tea. Ooh, this is a stubborn cavalry unit. Might not want to uh, vacate. Hmm. There's a Confederate core. What's his supply? Ooh, his supply situation is not good. A couple guys in Charlottesville. His supply situation is similarly not good. Okay. <laughs> nice bonded whiskey. <laughs> All right, I uh, got to reinforce this. Speaking of meat grinders, this whole situation here with Staunton has just turned into one big cluster jam. The city is basically running out of supplies, but I can't quite dislodge this group. Oh, come on, please, please, please. Yes! And yet, as I say it, it happens. <laughs> George McClellan, I could kiss you. Military genius, that one. And that's good, because Staunton was the gateway to a couple of really valuable Confederate mines, and all that income is just flowing straight into my pockets now. Mm. What's the supply situation? You fall back to here. I've got them on the Confederate side of the Cumberland River, and that's what matters. Uh, this is the time period where a bottled and bond became a thing. So I currently have a Confederacy. I don't think I knew that about the uh, the whiskey. That's phenomenal news. Um, news. That's phenomenal information. Um... I am not a whiskey history connoisseur. Uh, I have a Confederacy game going. It definitely is a challenge. Um, because the AI is doing all the things that I'm doing. They push, and they push on a lot of different points at once, and you do not have the manpower. Um, I'm trying to bring Europe into it, but it is slow going. It is very, very slow. Has to age at least four years in a government warehouse to get the bottled in bond label. All right, that's amazing. Yay, quality control. Three to one? Whoa, the Confederates have definitely upgraded their forts. I think that's what I'm gonna, gonna have to take out overland. Ow. shell this guy a little bit. Ow! Jeez. That's not so bad. I can live with that. Alright. Good. Reduce that by a couple steps. <sighs> Ugh. Supply situation down here is not inspiring.
All right, so there's still that division there. Let's work on cutting them off. There we go. Get them out of there. Oh, you used to be general manager for a restaurant. That's amazing, right? You never know when that kind of stuff will come in handy. It's very cool. Woof. All right. Here we go. Now we're talking. Confederates overextended themselves. This is what I was hoping for. If I take that, everything over here is cut off. It's an option. are coming down the way. If I can stop them before they cross the river, I'll be in good shape. And then I gotta focus on this. This is tying up a lot of Confederate resources and time, so that's fine with me. And time is on my side. Selling the city of Pensacola is going to take money away from the Confederates. That's good. I forgot these guys have been waiting to get reinforced for like three turns now. They're still blockade running. We're doing okay there. Ow. They didn't even put a dent in it. Ow. Okay, then. Hmm. I would love to take Savannah, but it's got to be garrisoned. Plus, this will hurt my troops when they come in for a landing. <sighs> I don't like it.
Hmm. All right. Confederates are running out of men around here, which is a good thing. There's Reynolds finally on the move. I think I want to make a move against Savannah. To do that, I'm going to need more Marines. They don't have to know I abandoned Georgetown. Just want to slip a guy in here. Ah. All right. Fort Pulaski's mine. St. Augustine took a shelling. Pensacola's getting shelled. this city run out of supplies we'll get it cut off and then we'll figure out how the heck to get the confederates out of this part of arkansas grant grant needs more men before he can push on memphis and i'm not even close to taking nashville winter is coming These guys in Princeton, the city of Princeton is almost out of supply, which means these guys are almost out of supply. One more push and another Confederate division is done. Ooh, these men are ready to get their better gear, better rifles and skirmisher detachments. Good, 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 good. Oh, they backed off. Got him. Retook Fredericksburg. All right. I think that's all she wrote. Research? What do I got? I'm still at full research. These guys are fine where they are. Yep, don't see any Confederates over that way. You guys are good there. I figure, you know, if I have myself a little bit of the liquid courage, it gives the AI an advantage, right? The computer can't get tipsy. I, however, can forget what I was supposed to do from turn to turn. <laughs> Helps balance the scales, since, you know, I have all the factories and really great... Uh, Really great uh, harbors, and I got a better navy. You know, all the good stuff.
<laughs> Staunton's mine. I am embodying Grant, right? We've pushed rebel forces more than 50 miles from Washington City. It is now appropriate to issue the Emancipation Proclamation. It'll gain the support of millions of black Americans. And, uh, yep, it's basically going to keep Europe out of the war. Loyal border states. Eh. Totally worth the fighting spirit hit to ensure that Europe stays out. The Emancipation Proclamation is the anti-Battle of Saratoga. It ensures that no foreigners are getting involved. I find that one funny. Spain's empire still used race-based chattel slavery until well after the Civil War, but that's fine. Go, Apaches, go! Hurt their supply lines. Ugh, bandits. <laughs> Blockade Norfolk. Ooh, Ironclad's level one. Big jump in core. I'd love to know what the Confederates are making per turn, because I guarantee it is not 1,500. Hmm. Oh, they moved to protect their supply line. Smart, smart. Are they trying to retake West Virginia? Curious. What an interesting choice. Oh, that core did not expect... Ow! That core just punched that division in the face! Holy cow! That hurt. Man, the Confederates have a lot of divisions. I'm still getting by with mostly brigades. Ow. To all of this. Oh, they're going to retake Georgetown. It's amazing how the AI just knew that I had abandoned it, but whatever. Those men can be put to better use elsewhere. Oh, gosh, the natives are getting closer. Bushwhackers again. I really guess I don't need that guy. So why is he still at Fort Leavenworth? I probably should bring him closer to the war. He's had it pretty easy up until now. Oh my gosh, it's been three and a half hours? I have not been paying attention. Ha <laughs> ha! The patented the Gatling gun really overhyped weapon in this war. Twelve, five, four, twelve, ten, four, twelve, eight. Eight, five, five, twelve, twelve, four. There's just nothing getting through the blockade. Hmm, General Longstreet. Well, he was transferred to Tennessee Theater for a while. Of course they have a commander out there. That makes total sense why they've been so successful. 
my beautiful 12th core. Hmm. I did say that Grant needed more reinforcements. Let's put my money where my mouth is. Historically, the 12th core did get rolled in with the 11th, became the 20th core, and was then set out with uh, Sherman and took part in the campaign against Atlanta. So it seems only fitting that the 12th core go to Cairo. Low on supply. Whew, that was nice. Ow! That was less nice. Is it worth swinging that far out? Uh, that's a six. It's not as good. It's a seven. I can live with that. Yeah, get those two core the weapons they need. The march to the sea. Absolutely. Get that ironclad leveled up. Landing casualties. Alright, I knew there would be troops, but that's all they have? I can live with that. Let's get some more in there. Those aren't landing casualties. That's like a wholesale slaughter. I got boots on the ground outside of uh, Savannah, and it's just held by one cavalry brigade. That's nothing. Reynolds is on his way to the Gulf. Ah, oh, this division is beat to hell. One good punch in the face and it's gone. Really? Three to one, two to two. I'd rather focus on securing these resources. Let's see. All right, they do have a garrison there. That's not surprising, but just wanted to check.
Still can't see anything. It must mean there's a unit there. these guys. Nice. Oh, come on. Got him. Yes. Princeton will be liberated. That core is a little troublesome. I don't love that, but it is what it is. <laughs> Got him! Let's see. Oh, jeez. Whole division is there. This makes me suspicious. Is there a unit moving around up there? That's all I need. Alright, they have not abandoned that capital. <sighs> Lovely. <sighs> oh, I didn't necessarily mean for that to happen. That was a misclick. Well, too late now. I just got punched in the face for slightly misclicking. Uh, the inability to move, thanks to a general and his staff, is just asinine. to cut off enemy supplies. That's undefended. That's definitely got troops in it. Them to the front. Princeton will be liberated. That core, though. Oof. With a commander that close. It's rough.
I'll just keep interrupting that supply line a little bit best I can. It's not much, but it's something. New research needs. I can get an extra 150 out. An extra level in field telegraph would help my commanders keep better control of what's going on. Excellent. Good. Get them reinforced. army is now I mean, he still has full control of the valley but I can I can bring the Pueblo in and outflank them that'll free all these men back up to push that would be delicious Partisans are likely to pop up. Ha ha ha. Nice. All right, the shelling is having an effect. That's every theater. So what can I buy? Whew. I actually feel like I'm good with the Navy for right now. I think I just need to focus on ground troops. Yep, attrition loss. I was afraid of that. Well, Cavalry Brigade, you had a good run. You got over eager. Ow. Yep, there's partisans. I thought there might be. They did not waste any time. I can build more core. That's going to be really important for the next push. Oh, I can get more core into the field. Bless you, research tree. Ow! I need that cavalry brigade to just fall back.
Hey, don't be like that. Ow. Ugh, all right, fine, I'll back off. Can have your stupid little town. All right, let's see here. Another monitor. All right, here we go. New cavalry division. Would be very useful. Out here. Yep, and a new native unit. Replacing the one I had lost previously. As I can keep them more or less bottled up, I'm okay with it. This guy, I've got to try to find a way to extract him and get him back to a supply center. This upgrading process is so slow.
Hmm. General Hill and his personal guard are going to try and hold that by themselves, are they? It's definitely a choice. Ah, Confederates move reinforcements around. All right, don't want to overextend. Every unit that's bottled up instead of being on campaign is a good thing. Ooh. Ooh, Fort Gibson is undefended. Risk it for the biscuit. Nice. All right, that's going to go a long way towards cutting off the supplies of this expeditionary force. If I can then get to Honey Springs... I think I might have just spelled the doom of these guys. Oh, no, wait, that was stupid. What am I... There's no need to abandon Joplin like that. Fresh reinforcements are there. What's their morale at? 89%, 87. So the American people are growing tired of the war, but not so tired that they're not willing to go a little longer. I can live with this. Okay, now this is the real theater. Holy moly. Confederate Corps versus Pleasanton's Cavalry and its even odds? Something has gone horribly wrong. Seven, Dune. Done. Let's pop him right. Wow! I just got him three to one. Amazing. All right, let's get those core where they are needed. Some intel on Richmond. Jones's division is not doing great. Because soon they're going to start getting hit with core, not just divisions. This is good. This is good. All right. Uh, where's the guy? Oh, there he is. Get him on his way. All right, down the coast, other operations. Yeah.
Get him back up to speed. Shell the city. Oh, and I damaged the fort. Alright, fine. Go for it. Ow! Now, exactly what I was afraid would happen. These men have been cut off. So I gotta march to their relief because there's Confederate partisans in Martinsville. Delightful. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Port Hudson is just sitting there thumbing their nose at me. I can coax them into sending someone back across the river, you know, doing something really stupid. Alright, good. Core organizations back online. Three to two, huh? Uh, why don't I wait till that mortar on the train softens up the trenches a little bit more, and then we'll go into, uh... <laughs> D.H. Hill's command is almost wiped out. would love to know if there's confederates there or not. I have a feeling like there are, though. Ugh. He has to stay because of partisans. He's there as a two to two. I'm going to have him back off just a little bit. See what happens. Thank you, Armored Train.
All right, I'll give a little more ground, see if I can't stretch them out a little bit. Keep sapping the supplies from him. That's all I can do. Oh, the Pueblo jumped a lot. That's amazing. Okay. I would love it if they joined the war. That would be a huge game changer. Let's buy some new core. You know, let's get that 20th core. Yeah, I know Farragut's Marines are low on supply. I know. I got in over my head. I got too excited. Now my people are very hungry. Norfolk. They're down to eating shoe leather. The Niagara was hit by rough seas. Ooh, naval weapons, level one. Infantry tactics, level two. Yes. That's one of those things you don't even have to upgrade. It just You just get it. <laughs> Alright, time to upgrade all my ships, I guess. Oh, look at this cute little gunboat. Holy cow! That hurt! Yeah, I figured that was the end of that. It was a merry little jaunt through Confederate territory. Ow. Why the heck did he take such a beating like that? Oh, jeez. Oh, he's just cycling units. Jeez, did he bring enough? This poor brigade. <laughs> he sat there all alone for so long, and now... <laughs> they're going to retake Corinth. Ow! I need to come in behind the partisans, pinch them off. Gee, the Confederates sure seem to have no trouble exploring where I don't have people anymore. It's like they know. Brand new Confederate division put it into the field.
Oh, oh, the French, uh, the French expansion into Mexico continues. All right, the situation is, it's slowing down. I wish I was getting a little more progress than I currently am. Oh, valuable intel, thank you. Hancock the Superb. All right. Um, where would he be best used? I feel like a second general would really tip the scales here. Richardson's division. Siege artillery. Get that into the Eastern Theater. I need to start blasting down some fortifications. And the Fifth Corps. I will also put into the Eastern Theater. Excellent. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? It's December. Yeah, the roads are garbage. sortie there. That wasn't so bad. And another division is gone. Closing in on Richmond. We're tightening the noose. And now that I've got two, three, three core in this theater, I feel pretty confident. That with the siege artillery, we'll dislodge them out of Richmond soon. 63 will be the year we get Richmond. Hmm. This is this is the other naughty little bit of work, isn't it? Four to four. Yikes. Storming that city is a high casualty affair. And they're gone. All 
right, Clarksville's opened up. That leaves Springfield all alone on the Union side of the Cumberland River. Fort Donaldson is, uh, is in rough shape. Thought that was too good to be true. Wow, they really want that town back. Damage evaded. Get out of here. Oh well, he's he's going nowhere. Hmm. Now that I have this, the question is where do I go from here? Honey Springs is the obvious. Or do I just stay here and let it be a drain on their supply? I want that capital. If I could kick one of the natives back out of the war, that would be huge. But without infantry, I can't exploit. Oh, shoot. Didn't think that one through. Yep. Did that one to myself. Blundered right into a division. All right, let's try that. See what happens. We'll start chipping away at their supply. Don't. Whoopsies. <laughs> I'm smarter than that. I knew better. All right. I mean, the Mississippi Theater is not really where all the exciting action is happening. It's fine. Ah. They can't defend everything at once, and that's my that's my chance at 86 to there 88 all right so we're still relative position to each other They did quite a number on the defensive works around Richmond. What's the supply situation there? A five? Yeah, it's okay. You. Head to a port. Actually, you know what? Just go to that port. We'll upgrade you later. Anyone else in need of upgrading? No. All right, they're close, they're close. Now I've got only one step to go.
want to get rid of that unit, but I can't quite encircle the city. Almost to a supply source. Keep going. Oh. Colson's division coming to retake the territory I took. How original. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think that's about it. I'll shell Springfield next time. Ooh, right. Almost forgot about that guy. That little guy? Don't worry about that guy. for Christmas and the New Year. I did just quote Super Troopers. <laughs> Ow! Attrition losses. Bushwhackers. Oh, I mean, I think the Pueblo are getting ready to join. That was a huge gain. Ooh, snowy. That's snowy. Oh, gosh. Ow! I did not know there were other Confederate ironclads in the water. Me. All right, they're doing the little regrouping there. I probably shouldn't leave Lynchburg unprotected like that. Oh, jeez, the Confederate cavalry just got way better weapons. That stinks. Also, with this driving snowstorm, I can't see a thing. Oh, their infantry just got better weapons. No! 63 is going to be a much harder year now. Oh, look at them. Decked out in their special uniforms. Ow! Oh, jeez, that poor brigade is just... It's just this is the end. Ouch. 
Boy, they really want that tiny little town back, don't they? Ah, surprise! Didn't know I'd be there, did you? <sighs> oh, thank goodness. Excellent. Now I've got native forces of my own in that theater. Ooh, the first spike of the Transcontinental Railroad. Pick the weirdest events to include in this game. I mean, I guess that's cool to know, but, you know... I got bigger things to worry about than a bunch of Londoners breathing coal fumes underground. Oh, that's such useful intel. I'm glad to know that there's someone there. Alright, Kearney's division. Where do I need more troops? Honestly? I'm going to post up out here in Jefferson City. You could really be useful. There. More siege artillery for the Eastern Theater. The calls division. Let's pop you on a boat and send you to the... And uh, I'll send this siege artillery down here because I have a feeling like I'm going to need it. Let's pop them on a boat and get them down to the... Gulf. And another Confederate division off the map. Excellent. Oh, wow, that was great. Fort Donaldson's gone. General Pope? I don't care what anybody says. You're all right. Oh, the counterattack was devastating! He didn't stand a chance. Oh, shoot.
Let's see. He's doing okay there. He's there. We got another guy ready to take his place. We got another division on the way. Good. Good, good, good. Those guys in Carthage are feeling awful lonely now that almost everyone around them has been chopped to pieces. Hancock's command is moving slow as molasses. And that Confederate gunboat joins its brethren at the bottom of the sea. Ooh, just engineers, huh? Nothing actually too dangerous. Hooray. Those Confederate partisans are busted up. I'll take Franklin. And then we have to hold off the Confederate counterattack that's on its way. You are going to be badly needed, sir. Excellent. We have a quality general now down here. This is good. clear up that fort. Savannah will start losing more supply if I keep this road closed. Ugh, I thought this would be an easier city to crack. It's proving to be quite difficult. Ow! There's a Confederate ironclad, I will be ready. Shoot. Did not know he'd be right there. Ugh. Oh, 
Although, geez, they're falling apart. What's going on with that? That's an entire Confederate Corps gone. And I still have decent supply if I push, so. I know, it's a, I know it's the Confederate Corps, but without food and bullets, it's basically just target practice. And then Buford's men have no supply whatsoever, but I just I'm dying to know what's going on down here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna inch forward piece by piece. There's a Confederate Corps, but it's not occupying the trench works. It's in the city proper. Advantage me, because if I push in close and station siege artillery, I can shellac him. I mean, I just really give him the business. Alright, that's that's all to the good. That's pretty good. <sighs> Forcing them to have to reinforce 15 places at once, in theory, is working. I swear, though, if another partisan unit pops up, I might scream. Like, the odds of that are not great, but... All right, this whole situation. Yeah, you know what? I thought there was someone still alive back there. Sneaky, trying to get in behind me, huh? All right, well, he's he's all but dead. We'll take care of that. I want him to have to threaten that. Now I am going to make a run. It's empty. It's mine now. This is exactly what I was hoping would happen. They overextended themselves. Now they're going to get wrecked. How are they still alive? Hey, thanks for popping by. It was great to chat with you. Have a great night.
Oh, jeez. He is out of supplies. That's beautiful. Yes! Oh, those losses for the Confederates there are irreplaceable. That's huge. That's huge. The tide is turning deliciously. Yeah, maybe I have to give that up for a turn. It's not the end of the world. I mean, I've got six plus units pinned here down by my three. I just took out one of his uh, brigades up here. And I have rushed Pueblo natives in behind the Navajo. Their capital city will be undefended, I think. And if I take that, there's nothing that's stopping all this from just pressing on Van Dorn. He's going to get pushed back into Arizona and then back farther south. It's mathematical. It's just a just a waiting game now. I am pleased with how this is going. Oh gosh, I really hadn't looked at the clock in a long time. Holy moly. This game just sucks me in, I don't know. I really don't know that I need that many more ocean-going vessels. I mean, most of the territory on the coast I've already beat the heck out of. Now it's just a question of pressing the advantages I have. Ah, oh, alright, I need to get Buford back to some somewhere that has food. Back to Lynchburg. Creek Surrender, that'll take one of their pieces off the board. <laughs> I didn't even have to do anything! Oh, a Polish and Lithuanian uprising. Big jump in core tech, more infantry tactic jumps. in so much trouble. I was hoping if I rushed forces to help him. Alright, well then I should evac those guys. They're not doing anyone any favors by being there.
Jeez, what is with the Confederate divisions down here? Do they want Arkansas that badly? Oh gosh, they just built another one. Alright. I gotta deal with them one at a time. Do they never not cause disruptions? So, 10, 8, 6, 4, 4, 12, 5, 12, 10, 4, 12, 4, 12, 14, 3. How does the Confederacy afford anything at this point? Good heavens. All right, no more, no more being coy. Landing casualties? Did someone stub their toe? Take that.
Got him. Back into better supply. Oh, for God's sakes, just finish him already. Damage evaded my ass. Very frustrating. Very frustrating. Still, we've largely isolated this little pocket. I'm really not keen to give it back. Yeah, I know they'll probably liberate that territory, but... Regiment gone. It's a good thing. Are you kidding me? Alright, I just gotta open up the route just enough to get these guys back. These guys need to make it back to Martinville and guard it against partisans. Oh, they're almost gone. Almost gone. Where's that Confederate ironclad I spotted? There it is. Kick it in high gear. Savannah's going slow. I know that Confederate ship is around here. There it is. As long as I'm down here, I might as well take some pot shots at the town. All 
right, it's badly beat up. Wow, that core. Core is beat to hell. They're bringing out a bunch of stuff, but I got the numbers here. Actually, I don't hate the thought of leaving a little gap there if they want to come out and take their chances just fine. Oh, all right. I am. I'm liking where things are here in March of '63. My core are finally making it to the front. Jeez, the Confederates have a railroad battery. 
I, uh, I think a good push. I can get Charlottesville, link up the railroad, and then it's it's on to Richmond. It really it really is. Not for tonight. I'm I'm cross-eyed and tired. So, but this has been good. This has been good. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Hope you had fun. I certainly did. Do enjoy this game. With any luck in our next session, we can see civil government be restored. We'll see the destruction of slavery uh, in this country. And then on to the terrible business of reconstruction. It did not go far enough and did not last long enough. But that's a separate issue for another day. Have a great night.